Ladies and gentlemen, Fortnite announced that the Zero Build Victory Cups are now going to be solos as opposed to duos as it was last season. And with the first solo cup being around the corner, I have prepared an in-depth guide to help you qualify for the finals every single time. I'm going to cover the best strategy to maximize the amount of points you need to qualify, some suggestions for landing spots, and what low that you should be using in order to qualify for the finals. Before we jump straight into the video, I want to thank Cuss Fry for leaving a positive comment on the channel. I read every single comment so if you want to be featured in my next video comment something down below like the video if you're going to be grinding tournaments this season i really want to see how many of you are on that grind set and make sure you subscribe to join the most underrated zero build community on youtube let's jump straight into the video so let's quickly explain what you need to do to qualify to the finals depending on your region a certain amount of players will advance to the finals and in those finals every win that you get you will receive a hundred dollars for eu you need to place in the top seven thousand for na you need to to place in the top 5,000 and for every other region you'll need to place in the top 2,000 to advance to the finals. So now with that information let's talk about your strategy. In this format you only get one point per elimination and up to 65 points for placement and placement points start to kick in once you place 75th in that lobby and there are a lot of placement points. So placement is by far the priority. So unless you are a crazy fighter you should not be going for high elimination and as a matter of fact a lot lot of the crazy fighters are still going to prioritize placement but here's the rules that i like to give myself of when i should or shouldn't push a fight if i'm on the edge of the map and there's an opponent near me that is a good fight to take because the chances of being third party are not that likely if i was the first person to shoot my opponent and i was able to get an initial crack and have the health advantage i will do anything and everything to go and push that fight and lastly if i am fighting for better equipment specifically the mobility items like shockwave or the nitro fists or bunk and bubbles i will also opt to take that fight because i will need those later on in the game and it will maximize my placement so notice how every fight that i'm willing to take is to help my overall placement if i have all the equipment needed if i was able to get bunkers mobility and i have two weapons and some health in my inventory there are really no reasons for me to take any fights and with that being said let's talk about where you should be landing to maximize your chances of the best possible loot now there is two routes that you can take this you can can hot drop or you can have a safe drop now the positive of hot dropping is that you may pick up a couple eliminations and a lot of loot because hot drops generally have the most amount of loot on the map these hot drops will include the three medallion spots we have currently redline rig nitro drone and brutal beachhead now, unlike in pubs and tournaments these medallions will always spawn at those locations all three of these medallions bring incredible value so if you're trying to hot drop it is your preference which medallion drop you want to pick but just know that some of the best players will be landing there as well but now let's talk about safe drops a lot of old pois are not a bad option such as the underworld the grim mount olympus and many more but i personally love some of the edge map location in the new biome around brutal beachhead and redline rig because of the amount of cacti slurp barrels and nitro that you can find around if that wasn't enough information for you i highly recommend for you all to go to fortnite.gg and explore the map on this website you can see the entire Fortnite map and you can toggle weapon spawns, chest spawns, and just a lot more and learn a lot more about the map before you dive into these tournaments. Practice your drop while you have time before tournaments begin. And if you know the location more than anyone else around you, you're already at an advantage. So I highly recommend you do so. And now last but not least, I want to deeply dive into the loadout that you need to be carrying in solos. And I'll give you a couple of options here. The most important thing to know is that cars and boogie bombs are not in competitive and this is a huge w from fortnite this means we do not have to carry a loadout to counter vehicles now let me give you a blueprint for your loadout you want to carry two weapons one healing item a cover item and a mobility item and let's talk about some of the items and what i think you should be carrying for the two weapon items you want to have a shotgun and an smg or ar for the shotgun i think the best possible option will be the gatekeeper shotgun it is one of the best counters to fist fighting so if someone slides at you with the nitro fists you need to be able to deal a lot of damage up close so they don't hit you with that broken fist combo now if you're more of a range player and perhaps you want to be able to deal damage from a safe distance maybe when you shockwave or use the fist to get up in the air then the combat shotgun is not the worst option but in my experience i've only liked the mythic combat shotgun other than that i would usually take the gatekeeper over any shotgun in the game now for your second slot i highly 
highly recommend you carry the burst, especially if you're carrying a gatekeeper shotgun, because the burst can be used from range, and I would argue that it is a better weapon from mid-range than the combat shotgun is, and I think is more versatile, especially if you're able to find one with a laser attachment on it, or are able to find an underground bunker and put one on there, I highly recommend you do that. Now, if you prefer to carry an AR, which I've really liked rocking ARs this season, you can obviously try and get a hold of the Mythic AR at Redline Rig, but we're going to assume that we're not able to get medallions for now. And if you want to go for an AR, I recommend the Warforged AR if and only if it has a red sight on it. And now that is the only two weapons that I would cycle in my second slot because there's nothing else in the game that is worth carrying as your support for the shotgun. Now for your healing slot, this one gets interesting because it highly depends on what kind of lobby you are playing with. See, I forgot to mention earlier that your first game is always going to be the easiest game because you are loading in with everybody at the beginning of the tournament that has zero points you have a good chance of not having the greatest players in your lobby which means you can opt for a more aggressive loadout in which case i highly recommend you carry the flowberry fizz once you get to the higher elos the players tend to get better which is when you finally start to rack up some points you could argue that carrying nuka cola or even met kits is more valuable however the flowberry fizz in my opinion would still be the best option because it also offers a little bit of mobility especially if you can combine it with the fist but you also have to keep in mind we do have the medallion at redline rig that heals shield over time and this is where you may not need to carry heals at all if you are able to get a hold of the redline rig medallion i recommend you carry the bow in that slot it can be the most annoying thing in the world you can be the most annoying player in the end game and grief everyone and force them to be put in a bad position that is assuming we're able to get the medallion if you're not able to get the medallion like i said i would settle for carrying global fizz for that healing items but also remember there's a lot of cacti around the map and like i said earlier study the map and learn where everything is so you have a route you can take in case you don't have any heals moving to the last two slots that are going to be the most crucial ones for your cover item i would recommend bunkers bunkers are the best cover item because they offer permanent cover but if you're not able to find those of course bubbles are a great item but i highly recommend that if you do have bubbles in an end game and you see a pile of loot throw those bubbles on that loot if that loot has bunkers it can be worth even trading three or four bubbles for one bunker especially if you have the next item we're talking about the nitro fist the most controversial item in competitive it is the mobility item of the season but is also insane when you combo punch in close range a lot of people do not know what to do with it and a lot of people will just start panicking and obviously it is the best mobility item now at the time of me recording this video they did get a nerf they take a lot longer to charge so if you're able to get those mythic nitro fists from the brutal beachhead medallion you do have a slight advantage in those end games because when you get to those end games with the fists and shoot yourself up in the sky and let everybody else fight down low and if you have more charges than everybody else you basically buy yourself a little bit more time and by the time you dive down there everybody else will be a free kill for you i'm sorry if that was a bit of a general video obviously the tournaments have not happened yet so i'm not able to really give you a full in-depth insight but once i play those tournaments i promise we'll come up with a much more detailed video but if you'd like to get some personalized coaching where i review your vods you can become a vip member on this channel for 15 dollars a month just make sure you have discord i link the link for you to become a member in the description and make sure you read it before you actually sign up so you know what's in for it here's a preview of me reviewing somebody else's gameplay if you think this is something that could benefit you feel free to check it out and it also helps support me if you made it this far into the video please drop a like especially if you find this video helpful thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.